surprise This is not your first time Another late night Vision with the blurred sight And you know what I like I can't get you off my mind I think of you all the time plan is really simple. Check in and head to a buffet as soon as possible. Luckily the buffet I want to go to is right downstairs. Alright, like I said, let's not waste any time. I'm starving and I'm here at this hotel for the Wicked Spoon Buffet. This is one of the most popular buffets in Las Vegas and as many times as I've been in Vegas, I've never been there. So I'm gonna go try it out, let you guys know what I think. Dinner starts at three on a Saturday. So this is the best they got right now. Overall impression upon first uh, first look, a little mixed feelings. Let's try it out. Round one. I got some chili duck wings, some spicy little neck clams, a couple different types of pasta, and probably the driest piece of chili crusted salmon I've ever seen. I mean, that thing looks like Vegas, just a desert. But I am absolutely starving, so. Got my pineapple juice, which fruit juices do come for free at most of these buffets. Trust me, ask for some juice, ask them to mix in some sparkling water with it, pineapple juice soda. Okay, you know what? This thing might not be as dry as I thought, but, oh, look at that. No idea what that used to be. You know what? Surprisingly, pretty darn good. Nice and juicy salmon, a little bit of sour cream. Mm, maybe I'm just hungry, but not bad. I don't really taste any of the pepper or chilies or spices on this, but fish is cooked well. Normally you don't get pasta at buffets, but this does look good. Pasta is definitely good. You can taste that they actually make this here. Nice fresh pasta. Pretty big fan of this pasta with meat sauce. Gotta say, this pasta is really top notch. A creamy, spicy, nice subtle tomato flavor. I just knocked that out. Like I would a bowl of uh, duck queen. In general, I love duck way more than chicken. Oh. This thing, good job, Wicked Spoon. Cause this tastes wicked good. Crispy, slightly sweet, nice sesame flavor. How many doubts about this? This was sitting in a big serving tray since I got into the restaurant, I didn't see anybody else touch it. But the words chili and duck caught my attention, but I'm glad it did. <laughs> oh man, this is where it's at. That goes perfect with rice. That sauce, in Chinese we say, 
It's very sharp, but it means it pairs great with rice. And that definitely would have. Spicy, a lot of great deep umami flavor. Not a bad dish. For the most part, just okay, but so far, pretty good first impression of this place. I had my doubts coming in. A lot of dishes were kind of dry looking, but if this plate was a first date, there'd definitely be a second. I really don't recommend getting pho at buffets, but I, whenever I see the word pho up here anywhere, I want it. So they don't have the typical pho noodles, just some thin rice noodles. It's kind of an unconventional bowl of pho. percent honest that's really not that fun i mean <laughs> for a buffet that's pretty fantastic for a buffet This, this is the meat part of the lineup. The meat station, pretty good looking. Jerk chicken is roasted, freshly roasted. I think this thing just came off the fire. Roasted lamb looks nice and juicy. This is a cut of top steak. Prime rib looks a little overcooked and dry. We'll see. But the bone marrow, that's the star of the show here. Woo. Oh yeah, baby. I have a love affair with bone marrow. Look how pretty this thing is. Mm. That's so perfect. Bone marrow is one of those things. You gotta have the worst day ever. Bone marrow will make you feel better. And the only thing better than bone marrow is all you can eat bone marrow. Oh my God. Best thing I had so far, just meaty butter. Uh, jerk chicken's okay. I mean, anything following that bone marrow is just kind of unfair. I'm not feeling so hot about this prime rib here. That's definitely on the dry side. I mean, you can have bad pieces. That's just a dry piece. My flavor is good, especially the outside. The fattier parts of the beef. That's actually pretty tender. I mean, it's not juicy, but it is tender. This top steak, that's pretty darn good. It's definitely dry aged. You get 100% taste to age in this meat, and it is tender. The lamb is okay. That's probably my least favorite cut of meat out here, but in general, the meat's very flavorful. I love the dry aged steak. Absolutely mind blown by the bone marrow. Everything here is okay to exceptional. And again, for a buffet, to have that, not bad. This thing just came out, a little samosa. Thing is definitely a little doughy for me. Potato's good, but man, look at that thick dough on each side. If you went inside the samosa and screamed, I guarantee you nobody would hear you. All right, round three, now it's getting busier. There's a mac and cheese bar. Can't say no to that. That's good, and that is really heavy. Only complaint, a little liquidy. I got some mushrooms, some spinach, some shrimp rib. Oh, this is great though. Love the heat from this dish. And because of that, you're not gonna feel like it's like way too much for you. Definitely a thumbs up for the mac and cheese bar. Shrimp and grits. I love shrimp and grits. And anytime I see them on a buffet, can't resist that either. And they do it very, very well here. Smoky, tender shrimp. And a carnita taco? This came back from Mexico, so I don't feel like this is really gonna impress me much. The pork looks juicy. There's some chicharroni here, a little pineapple. Definitely need to satisfy my taco cravings since I've been back. That's pretty darn awesome. All sorts of juiciness from this taco, from the pork, from the pineapple. We definitely gotta wait till they come up with like a new batch, which this is. Nice job on that. Let's go see what kind of seafood they have. For seafood, they have this big crawfish boil. Looks okay. Like a giant pile of seafood. Crawfish looks kind of small. Okay, so the seafood selection is pretty poor. All they have is that crawfish boil, and this is the poor little crawfish 
that I gave you. I kind of supplement it with some uh, surf and turf, more bone marrow, which is by far the best thing on this whole buffet. The Dungeness crab is probably the best thing on that seafood pile. It's okay. You know that seafood break I always take so I can eat more? Kind of can't use that strategy here. Bone marrow to save the day. Look at this big one. They really should give the bone marrow like its own little buffet stand because this is 100% the start of this entire place. All right, I feel like I, I ate everything there is to eat up there. Dessert time. Two plates of desserts. The dessert here actually looks quite good. Some ice cream, got Thai tea and pistachio, bourbon bread pudding, lava cake, and some kind of matcha cake. Ooh. This looks promising. Mm. That cake looks good. Real passion fruit, crispy outer shell, not overly sweet. I adore bread pudding. Take the bread pudding, mix it with some uh, ice cream. Mm. That's awesome. Chewy with a nice crust, great bourbon flavor. This is that little matcha cake. You taste some matcha, you taste some yuzu, it's okay. Ah, this lava cake, it, it's, it's swallowing my spoon. I love this, okay. It's probably the least lava -y of any lava cake I've ever had. Overall, it's a good buffet. Most things I had were very flavorful. The meats, apart from the top sirloin, were a little dry, but the flavor was good. The duck wings, the shrimp and grits, even the pho noodle soup. Flavor was on point. Best thing on the buffet, like I mentioned, not a surprise. MVP of the entire place goes to the bone marrow for sure. The bone marrow pretty much makes this entire experience worth it. As you can see, with the seafood is pretty much non-existent. So if you're a seafood lover, you want to get a lot of crab, a lot of shrimp, this is probably not the place for you. Price point wise, it is definitely cheaper than the Bacchanal, but it is quite a bit smaller with less selection. So in terms of meat, I give this place a four out of five. In terms of seafood, of course, maybe like a two out of five. This is tasty, fair amount of selection. I'll give it a 3.5 out of five. Overall, I feel like this would be a 3.5 stars out of five stars kind of place. It's not bad, you're gonna enjoy yourself. Just keep going back to the bone marrow and you're gonna feel really, really happy. It's a pretty good buffet for what you're paying for on the strip. Oh, one more thing about this place I absolutely love is the staff. Everyone's just incredibly friendly from the servers, to the managers, to the chefs, nicest people. Now, overall, I, I don't think this place is as good as the Bacchanal Buffet, but haven't been there in four years, so I, I feel like I need to refresh my memory a little bit. Last time I was at this buffet, over three years ago, three o'clock in the afternoon, dinner just started already, massive line. Let's see if it's still great. All right, this is the place I always come to whenever I'm in Vegas, so people have been messaging me telling me this place went downhill a bit. So I'm gonna check it out, give you guys an honest review, and we'll compare this to the Wicked Spoon. I think I saw a dinosaur being carved up over there, so let's hit up. First of all, this place is way bigger than the Wicked Spoon. God, look at this. Pretty sure they, they brought a dinosaur over and they cut it open. All right, from what I've seen, I feel like this place might even have gotten better. Let's taste the food. First place, I got some roasted pig skewers, drunken noodle, short rib ravioli, and this, uh, Watermelon salad. Oh man, so this is short rib over mashed potato. Oh my good lord. I don't even want to talk loud because this thing is so fragile. I don't want to hurt its feelings. I mean, all the sections look good and the roast pig looks really juicy. Nice crispy shell. Mm. 
This is great. Holy mackerel, short rib. I don't even know where the meat ends and the mashed potato begins. My bow, you pull the tender so good with that mashed potato. They killed this, knocked it out of the park. Crispy skin, beautifully juicy porky meat. So far, it's like this place knew I was coming back and it just like made a welcoming meal for me. And again, I don't advocate getting noodles or rice on a buffet, but drunken noodles, like, it's my favorite time noodle. It's okay. Ooh. Okay, oh, that's pretty good. I mean, the noodle, I think, has been sitting out a little long, so it's not as chewy as it should be, but that heat is unmistakable. Mm. This is just all right. The saute tastes a little like jerky at this point. It's a watermelon salad with some chilies on top. Sweet, spicy, salty, almost everything I had. Amazingly delicious, especially that, sh that short rib. Man, you gotta get that short rib when you come here. Oh my God. You got they got bone marrow here as well. The one thing I really loved at the Wicked Spoon, they have here as well. This place is just all about the pork, except for the beef bone marrow. That's that's not about the pork at all. That's that's beef. This is a popular Mexican soup. I first had this in Mexico just like a couple weeks ago. From the big roast pig, I got some ribs. Like <laughs> I feel like this is gonna be really thin, but I also think this is gonna be very flavorful because of the meat right off the bones. And I got the couple orders of the bone marrow. Look at this baby. Give you the cracker, a little pickled onions. Oh my gosh. Mm. Ah, pozole is awesome. If you didn't have pozole before, mm. a little lime here would be amazing. Mm. Oh, I missed this. One of the first things I ate while I was in Mexico. It's so good. It's good here too. Add some slow roasted, tender tasting pork. Eh, that sounds chewable. All right, this is not so great. Unless you're eating that thing within the first like 10 minutes, it's coming off the fire, this meat is gonna be dry. And I thought like maybe because it's so close to the bone, it might at least have some good flavor. Yeah, it's not good. If you're wandering around the world, you don't know where you're at. Uh, searching for in life, kind of lost. Yeah, you're looking for this. You're looking for some good bone marrow. There's one of those food items that you could fall in love with over and over and over again. And they did something really smart here. Not only is the bone marrow perfect, they put these little sauteed onions in an abyss of delicious fat. So it makes the fat even better, like even tastier. The best thing I liked about the Wicked Spoon was the bone marrow and Bacchanal how so has the bone marrow and they made it better. Not looking so good for the Wicked Spoon right now in terms of a uh, head to head competition. Ray was with me at the Wicked Spoon. Um, hey buddy, hey. So this is better. This was our favorite thing at the Wicked Spoon was the bone marrow. Absolutely. I'm sorry Wicked Spoon, it just, I, I gotta tell you the way it is. All right, let's, let's keep going, round three. In this place, they cook some brisket I mean, it's not as sweaty as the ones I got in Texas, but this thing cut like butter with my fork. This is the slice of Wagyu. You can see all the marbling coursing through the meat. Now, of course, this is American Wagyu. For buffet brisket, this is really, really good. It's falling apart juicy, nice and charred, great smoky flavor. I gotta tell you, I mean, I was just in Texas, and this is still a bit ways from Texas brisket, but for a buffet, this is some top-notch stuff. It's smoky, juicy, remarkably, remarkably tender. That wagyu is awesome. I mean, it's not gonna melt in your mouth like a Japanese wagyu well, but this thing, this thing's got some juice. This thing would fail any sports drug enforcement test because it's that juiced up. I mean, I've had American wagyu, this. this is awesome. I mean, a lot of people message me and saying this place quality has dropped. At least from what I've seen today, I think it got better. I mean, the additions of the new food items are amazing. So yeah, 
I still think this is the number one buffet in Vegas. All right, my seafood over there. So <laughs> seafood, get. I'm gonna. So I'm gonna get. Get some seafood. That's a good river prawn. I mean, I get like Vegas seafood. Nothing is gonna be fresh because it's not near any water. So everything must be frozen, but still, not bad. And also what's good about seafood here, if you don't like ice cold snow crab, they'll boil whatever seafood you want them to boil. So there's like a big boiling tank over there. They will heat your seafood up. Also, if you feel like your prime rib is a little too bloody, you want them to cook it for you, they'll do that as well. This buffet is very customizable. Snow crab is pretty good. And lobster claws. Uh, this is really good. Creamy red bean. Look at this coffee jelly thing has like a golden coffee bean on top of it. Oh, that's good stuff. It's like a coffee jelly pudding. I don't even like coffee. I love that. You know what? That lychee raspberry jelly thing, I no idea what it is. It tastes like a mix between a jelly and a jam. That's not bad. At this point, I've been to pretty much every single Las Vegas buffet. The most popular one after this is the Wicked Spoon. I've been to the Wynn a few times, not even close to the Bacchanal. This is still the king of all buffets in Las Vegas, 100%. This buffet, $64, Wicked Spoon was 49, so you're paying $15 more for a much, much superior buffet. And I'm not trying to pick on the Wicked Spoon, um, it's just the one I'm happening to be comparing the Bacchanal to. I'm gonna still make my way through some of the other buffets, like the Bellagio was one of my favorites as well, so I'll go try that too, but yeah, guys, if you're in Vegas, this is where you go. Here, tons of selection. Most of the stuff they have, very, very good, especially the bone marrow, the short rib, the carving station, the uh, brisket, the wagyu. You're gonna love the desserts here, and that's why this place always has a line. It is 100% amazing amazing buffet and it was funny is that um if you look back in my videos the bacchanal breakfast buffet from like four or five years ago was i think my first ever on-screen food video it was a long long time ago it was right here and to this day still king of buffets is the best buffet in vegas you never forget your food memories you never do all right guys as always all the information for this place is listed down below thank you all so much for watching until we eat again see you later